Welcome back to the logbook checker tutorials. We're going to concentrate today on vehicles and drivers and how to add those and why you add them to your logbook checker. To go to vehicles and drivers, just tap on the um, icon on the bottom which says vehicles and drivers and that will take you to the list of vehicles. There's a button a button which you can tap on here, which is like a toggle between the driver list and the vehicle list. So if you tap on it, it goes to a driver list, which has the details for the main driver. And if you do your two up, you can add your co-drivers in there as well. Let's tap it again, it goes back to vehicle list. We'll start with the driver list and go to the main driver. To edit the main driver, we just tap on the main driver information. We can change anything in there. What we're going to look at now is old counting. This switch is if you want to logbook checker to check uh, maximum hours in any 24 hour period, you can turn old counting switch to on. The default is off, which is the way the law states, and that is that a, an officer can only count forward from a major break, that is a five hour or seven hour break, depending whether you drive um, two up or solo. So if you want it to count every 24 hours from any rest break, then turn old counting switch to on. We'll leave it off at this stage. Put the BFM accreditation number in, you can just tap on that and put that number in or your company's number in and that will then appear on the log sheets so that when you print them or email them, they'll appear there. Put your license number in, similar. Now under here, when you hit done, the keyboard goes away, but there's a signature box. Tap on that and you can go, that'll bring up your photos that are on your iPhone or iPad. Um, I've got a signature in there. You're best to crop that as close as you can to your signature. I've just scanned it in and bring it into your iPhotos or take a photo of your signature and bring it in that way. So I'll tap on that and we notice that that's placed there. On some older versions that doesn't appear but it will appear on your log sheets. Tap on done and that's saved. We can also add co-drivers by just tapping on the plus here, putting in their name, their license number and the state there. Now that just allows you to choose later on when you're putting in information from your um, co-driver list. Once you save that, tap on done and you'll notice that that's got two up driving partner and every driver you add on will appear in the list in alphabetical order. To add vehicles, simply go to vehicle list and tap on the plus, put in the rego, you can add a truck name if your trucks have a name, I'll just call it Fred, when you hit done that goes away, now you can down the bottom here select the truck image, if you do that you can go back to your saved photos I've got a photo here of a truck, tap on it and notice that is then placed in there. When you hit save you'll notice that truck and the little thumbnail there appears um, so that when you choose trucks, uh, when you add log entries you can choose your truck there. Standard gestures apply when you're in the vehicle list and in the driver list area of the app such as swipe to delete or tapping on edit and on this red button here. And delete as well. Now trucks and drivers and also the signature uh, are explained more and how you use them in the tutorial to do with log entries. So if you want to learn more about that go to that tutorial. But this will be all we'll do in this tutorial and thanks for listening.